In the last seven days, there were reports of strong winds, heavy rains and flash floods in many parts of the country. In Medang and Morobe, flash floods have cut off road access, causing damages worth millions of kina. Some communities were affected, their food gardens were washed off, and there were several funding appeals made to the national government. The community can take ownership to manage the disaster. For intergovernment organizations like the International Organization for Migration, they're addressing these problems from the community level. It's all about building resilient communities who are prepared and can avoid being affected by disasters. The community should take ownership in terms of setting up smaller, you know, kind of a law or something that uh, guidelines that restrict people from uh, doing activities which will contribute to things like flooding, like clearing of bushes unnecessarily. The International Organization for Migration is educating the community to use their local knowledge and resources to reduce the risk of being affected by disasters. In Morobe province, many communities are affected by flood waters, drought, the rising sea level and many others caused by climate change. The concern that we want to bring across is we manage the disaster at the district and healthy level instead of the communities rushing up to the provincial level to ask for relief items. With the climate change and unpredictable weather conditions, many coastal and inland communities will be greatly affected. What IOM believes in is to educate and empower the people so they won't rely on government relief supplies when disasters happen. Sylvester Gawi, National MTV News, Lay.